Hello everybody, and welcome to another, um, I guess you could call a hacking video, even though I'm not showing you too much in depth. Um, so we're just gonna do color A, because it looks cool, and then we will now do a pretty useful command called shutdown minus I. Oh, oh yeah, um, it's one of these letters. Yeah, wait, yeah. Minus A. Oh, that, okay. So how you abort it is shut down minus A, and how you would cause it in the first place is by going, by going, is, how you would cause it is by going, shut down minus I. And then it'll bring up this menu. Now, what this menu does is, let's say there are computers on your network, like my username is, um, right there. Um, so we would just go, that username, enter it in there, then we can restart it, unexpected shutdown it, or just regular shutdown. We could warn them, we could warn them for, as a up to 999 seconds before... They make something like that noise. Um, we can give good reasons why. Like a security issue and all of these are planned, of course. And you can also make a comment that the per that the person receiving it will get like screw you. Now keep in mind this does work in schools. If I need to, I will make a how to unblock command prompt video. There are lots of ways to unblock it, really, but, you know, I'll, I would show you one if I need to. You can add a lot of them, just one. Now, <clears throat> how you find people on your network is by simply going, um, net user. And then it shows everybody on the account. Hell, even guest is an account here, so we get shut down whoever is stealing your internet. Go home, Hobo Joe! Um, why does Hobo Joe have any sort of internet access that's yours? Um, very easily done. <clears throat> now you could go net user, then net user administrator. Right? And then it shows everything, right? Shows all of this. Now, there's a way to change people's passwords and how you do that. Um, you would just go net user administrator. Now, now the guys, this is a very complicated command after net user administrator star I know right and then you could type a password for any user so right now I can change the password of anybody on my network again this works at most schools now just like in my batch file video I said the exact same thing because I have made quite a few batch files at school I have a lot of batch files at school saved on my computer a really funny one that I know I'm not admitting to that right now um but yeah, you could change your teacher's password to really anything if you make yourself an administrator. Change it to whatever you'd like. Hmm. Now, another cool one would be going like... One second. Um, oh, crap. No, we're not changing the password to CLS. I'm going to open another another command prompt and be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I just color ate it real quick. Um, here, let's go with a different color right now. Like, I like color 3. No, I don't. Was it color C? Yeah, it was color C. Um, <clears throat> no, I'm not trained right now. Um, so, another cool one. 
which I showed you in the last one, is the title command. We can make the title whatever we want it to be. Like, for instance, we can make the title Noodle or whatever. And then the title will then be Noodle. If you look at the top there, the title of command prompt is now Noodle. So that's a pretty cool one. Hmm. We can also echo things. Like echo literally anything. See? And it'll go down. So that's a really easy command as well. Now there are a couple more. Explore your options. Um, I might make a virus video next, you know, and show you how to use them. See you guys in the next episode.